What's going on everybody? Welcome to another OpenCV with Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about template matching within OpenCV. So basically the idea here is if you've got an, uh, an image and you've got a template, like for example the images that we're going to use are here. The, uh, the template here is that image to the right, the small image to the right, and then the image that we're going to look for this template in is on the left. Now this is just one copy of multiple slightly different versions of that exact template, right? It's that port on the Raspberry Pis going all down. So the idea is, first of all, we, we're ideally we would match every single one of those, but we're probably not going to get it with template matching. So, but the idea is, if you if you had maybe uh, one thing that has like exact templates all the time is GUIs. So every time you use a GUI chances are that the way it looks every time, like this file button always looks like this. Every single time it looks like that. The X out button every single time looks just like that. So if your problem is something that has a, on just, you know, you just need to make a perfect match or a close match, uh, like an 80% match, uh, then this is going to solve your problems, no problem. So I've got those two, these two images here. Feel free to take your own image and hopefully you have like multiple objects that are very, very similar, like almost identical. If you don't uh, use this image, uh, this one is, this is one of those times where it's probably useful to use my image just because it is a good image. But if you have one that's like that, where you've got multiple copies of the same one, yet only one small image of that, that template that you can use just to see how many you hit, uh, go for it. So. We'll start off by importing CV2 and NumPy as NP. Oh, and if you don't have those images, I know I keep saying it, but I'm sure some people come in like midway. Uh, all the code for all these tutorials is posted on pythonprogramming.net. So if you're viewing this video, that means the code is live on that website. Go there and you can get these two images um, from there if you need them. So, uh, as well as the code and all that. So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, bring in basically our image and our templates. So first we're gonna bring in our image. Um, so we're gonna say image underscore, um, really it's BGR. Uh, let's say image BGR equals cv2.imread. And we're gonna read in opencv dash template dash matching dash python this is a long image <laughs> dot jvg feel free to rename that image to something better and then image gray equals cv2 dot convert color we've really done this quite a few times image bgr uh, and we convert that to cv2 uh, color underscore bgr to gray then we load in our template our template is equal to cv2.imread and then the, whatever your template happens to be. Mine is opencv template for dash matching dot jpg. Um, and we're going to load this in as zero. That should be the default though. Now width comma height is equal to template dot shape. And this is just a way to get the shape or the width and height. Now... Um, so we've got both images here, and what we're going to do now is uh, first we're going to have our result. Um, so we're going to say the result equals cv2 dot match template, and we're going to match the template to image gray template, and then. Um, this is just what we're going to use to make that match, basically. TM coefficient, or I think it's double C O E F F underscore normed. So that'll make our matches. And then we're going to say the threshold for this, we'll use 0 0.8 for now, so like 80%. And then the question is location equals NP dot where, and then where the result is greater than or equal to our threshold. And then now we're gonna mark all these on the actual picture. So for the, basically the point in zip, and this is for basically all of our locations, colon, colon, negative one. We're gonna draw a rectangle. 
So CV2 dot rectangle and we're gonna rectangle and we're gonna draw that on image underscore BGR uh, the point itself and then we are going to basically this is gonna be some dynamic code here the point zero plus that width which is right here so it's that the shape basically of our template um, because we know the template that we're using anyways uh, and the match in the image are going to be about the same height. So that uh, and then PT1 plus the height. And now we're going to color that mark basically or that rectangle. Uh, we'll make it yellow and then the line thickness there it will be a 2. And then when we're all said and done we will CV2 dot m show we'll call this detected and we'll show it on image bgr and then when we're all done um well yeah let's just go ahead and show it we'll be fine oh threshold threshold is did i typo threshold initially yes i sure did two h's amateur okay so here we have our matches, right? We got one, two, three, and four matches, which is pretty good because we had one template that we were working off of. So as you can see, these are slowly getting smaller. And then we got these that are very much smaller and have less light reflection at the tip of them. Um, <clears throat> but what's gonna happen? What if we wanna, okay, we lower the threshold, right? Like, let's try to get some more. Well, we sure enough got more. Uh, but then we wound up getting a bunch of other stuff that we didn't really want at all. Like what? I don't even know how that's related, but it apparently is related. So, so anyways, um, you 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 probably instead of lowering your threshold every time, probably what you would do that would work better. So as you can see, actually these first four are detected, and then any further basically detects out here in the in the boondocks. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway. Um, as you, instead of lowering the threshold a bunch, like you might want a threshold more of like 0.9. Yeah. And then you would maybe take images, like take an image of this one here and call that a thresh or use that as a template rather. And so on, like have multiple copies of a template. That way, when you go to match it, um, you can be a, a little more um, confident in your matches that are made, yet a little more accurate because you'll get more matches. So anyway, uh, keep that in mind because that might end up being a little more useful. Now, uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is foreground extraction um, in a slightly manual way. So if you kind of know like where your foreground is, you can just kind of automatically detect what's in that region, what is actually the foreground and what is not actually the foreground based on... Um, based on a region that you kind of specify. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next tutorial. Meanwhile, uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever about this tutorial, feel free to leave, leave them below. It's relatively uh, straightforward though. Um, basically, we're just matching anything that looks like this template, right? So it uh, doesn't get too much easier than that. But anyways, if you do have questions, comments, whatever, maybe I've, I went over something too fast, leave them below. Um, otherwise, till next time.